Times, uh, but what is intriguing is your uh, your preparation for your shows. Um, you know, you have a lot of things from stretching to uh, becoming emotionally available to your craft. And I think uh, I kind of want to know about this. I mean, is do we do yoga, tai chi? Do you have a meditation? Uh, something you zone out to in order to get into your zone. Mm -hmm. Apart from uh, just doing the, what should we say, ordinary uh, warm-up uh, exercises and the ordinary measures, I, I, I do a little yoga, which I feel combines the physical and the mental. Uh, and I always feel that uh, when I've done short yoga routine, uh, I could all also visualize a little better and I use quite a lot of visualization in order to connect with certain kinds of energies and, and vibes that I like to connect with when I'm performing. Uh, so and Satyricon are vastly different, although of course same genre. So do you have a different pro uh, different process for each band or it's really just how you create the energy for both of them? Many things are similar but then there are a few elements that are a little different. Uh, for instance, I very often practice uh, some very, very slow beats also. Right. Uh, preparing for a satirical show in order for me to connect not only with, you know, the ferociousness you know, of, of 3049, uh, and I mean, there are lots of intense parts in satirical as well. The, uh, it's easy to get carried away by the very intense material, so I always like to just remember some very, very slow beats and feel right. like I can, you know, do them and kind of... Get where you need to yeah, go with that direction. And make it groove, you know, right. instead of, you know, wanting to rush them, but actually feel that I let loose right. and um, get calm and see to it that, you know, there is that air in between the hits that you right. need when you want things to, to get a swing. to be a drummer when you were a child? Did this happen in your teens? Do you play another instrument? How did this happen? How did you become a professional drummer? Complex question, <laughs> a potentially <laughs> complex answer. Okay. Um, I think I had it in me somehow because I was trying to beat rhythms when I was a kid, but uh, actually I, I was much more fascinated by the guitar really? and the guitar sound when I I was younger. I didn't listen to the drums at all. Really? They weren't really interesting to me. Uh, I liked uh, the electric guitar and the sound of uh, electric guitars, and especially, you know, as I was turning into extreme metal uh, while I'm still pretty young, uh, I was very fascinated by 
how certain bands have this, you know, chainsaw like quality to the guitar sound. And I was, you know, always caring so much for the guitar and the guitar's place in the sound picture, so I should have become a guitar player, I suppose. Uh, I still would like to play guitar, but somehow I just ended up in, with the drums and I didn't start that early either. I was like 14, 15. Really? rock music and for many different reasons and uh, what are some of the things that influenced you about the 70s rock music? The feeling and the groove and the energy. I mean how can you as a drummer uh, not get fascinated by how, uh, how Bill Ward did the drums in Old Black Sabbath Absolutely. And, or John Bonham or Iron Pace, you know, mm -hmm. they had very, very different techniques, but it was this uh, almost inhuman energy and spirit to what they did. You know, it was very musical, but if you look at old uh, clips of Bill Ward, you can find them on YouTube these days. And you know, that energy is just fantastic. I find it very fascinating how they, you know, got in touch with what they did at that time. Right. There were really no predecessors. They, they invented this. Absolutely. And still I uh, really not seen drummers go beyond that really. You know, many are going way faster and all that, but in terms of energy and spirit, uh, in terms of how they connected with the music and how they managed to bring about uh, such an intensity while, while being, you know, steady and groovy and all that. Well, it's, it's still at the top. Do you use drumming in your personal life, like I said, for uh, an outlet emotionally, physically, or is this something that is relegated to work? To some extent, I guess it's very difficult to separate the two, uh, since my work also happens to be my passion, you know. And to some extent it will be your hobby. Right. And when you make your hobby your work, and the lines are perhaps not that clear anymore, you know, I still feel it's that way. Uh, sometimes I drum because I have to, other times <laughs> I do it because I want to. Right. And uh, there are times when it's actually a bit difficult to tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> 